Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and um, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be drawing a swordfish. Um, I don't know. Mixed feelings on this one because it, it looks quite hard, but when you break it down, the outline is actually really easy. I think the colouring part is the hardest because they've, they've got two colours. Uh, kind of a lighter blue and a darker blue. I'm going to be trying to colour them in watercolours. See how that goes. If um, if it doesn't work, you probably won't be seeing this video and you'll be seeing another version of it. So we we'll probably get started. Um, and we're going to start. I'm using a brush pen this time, like a proper, proper brush pen, not a um, the not like kind of yellow one, like I've been using a um, black thin one. So anyway, we're going to start about here, and we're going to draw like the sword bit. It's going to be reasonably thin and we're going to go across quite a long way um, until we get about here we're going to kind of go and get into a little bit of a little bit of a curve there and then we're, we're going to go this side of it now we're going to go till about here we're gonna go slightly upwards. So very slightly upwards. And then to about I don't know. I don't really give measurements actually really do I but um I would say to about there. Maybe and then we're gonna draw the fin. Um Gonna go up, gonna go in, gonna go up, gonna go around about there, back down in a curve like that, and down to about here. Gonna go like that, there, about like that, and join up with this line. We've kind of drawn this in one massive big movement. Um, and then now we're going to draw his back fin. We're going to go straight to about there, round to about there, and then in a massive arc, we'll go to about there and back up in line with, with this thing. And then we're going to go, there's lots of different fins on this, this, um, is drawing and just a bit further on from this fin to about here I'm going to draw an upside down one to about here and then when we get to about here we're going to draw a line going like that so a bit of a slope downwards diagonal slope and go like that. It's another fin. Quite a big one this time. Curve right back up to there, and then we're going to join this one up. So it's coming from on his body. And then, so this bit is his mouth. He's got a sad mouth because I don't know whether you, if you look at pictures of swordfish or any fish, they don't look happy. So we're not drawing it happy. Um, although, unfortunately, we've not got much space to draw the eye. Actually, no. No, the eye's quite thin. Anyway, so, about here. So, imagine this this thing from about here. We're going to imagine this, this carries all the way through and go to about there. And this is going to go up and into that. Um, it's got quite a big chin there. wasn't really... And that, that was such a big chin, but you know, we'll keep on going. And now, I've, you can kind of see it taking shape. So, this is the main fin, sword obviously there, fin, fin, fin. There is actually meant to be another fin here, but um, we're not going to draw that because I think that would be too many. And we've got one big thing here, and then obviously this one on the body. Now, 
that is meant to be almost like a, a, a bite out of it by another, I know by another swordfish or by like a shark or something or a dolphin because I think they, I think dolphins, they, I think they both attack together. I think I watched this David Attenborough program and um, there, there were these gannets and there, there was a big shoal of fish and there were these gannets going down underneath the water to get the fish. There were dolphins and there were swordfish all hunting together. So I think they all hunt together, so there might be anything that have bitten that off. Now we're going to draw the eye about here. A circle. And then we're going to draw another circle on the inside, but more to the to the left of to the left of it. Quite a big inner circle. But, um, yeah, that is literally the outline done. It's really not hard. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to start colouring in. Um, you can colour in yours however you want. It, they're generally either like a silver colour or a dark blue colour. So, if you want yours to look like a, a, a an actual one, then I would colour it in any of those colours. But... They're usually dark blue at the top, and then about halfway goes down into a lighter blue. That's what I'm going to be doing, it, and I'm going to be doing that in watercolours. So I'm going to speed up this part of the video, um, and I'll speak to you once I've finished. Okay, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I've I've done it in watercolour. You could probably see me do it. Um, and so, you probably saw me go over this, but you can't really see it. I can't really see it, and I'm right close to it. Um, but it that's actually really light blue. Because if you look at pictures, it has got that. This I accidentally did that, and then I decided I might do a bit shading with that and it didn't look that good but you know doesn't matter and this this bit turned out really good and um it i think it blended quite well into the light blue because if you look at pictures it doesn't like completely blend into it and this doesn't completely blend into it either um so i think it looks pretty cool um yeah yeah i like it um i'm just gonna write 2021 The good thing about the watercolours I use, it's dry already. I literally finished colouring two minutes ago. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed watching, doing this video um, and watching it. Um, see you next time for another video.